Inspect a lot is a new mobile app from Bradford Technologies and SFREP for the Apple iPad. In this video, we'll go over how to install the app on your iPad, use it, and transfer your data into Appraise It. Inspect a lot is available in the Apple iPad App Store on your iPad. It is not available for the iPhone, so it'll only show up in the App Store on the iPad. Just go to the search box up top and type in Inspect a lot. You don't have to worry about the dashes. When you find the app in the App Store, simply tap Install. That's it. The icon will be placed on your springboard in the next available spot. Good news, you don't have to do anything to appraise it. The Inspect a Lot integration is already built into the latest version of Appraise It. Now to ensure you have the latest version installed, simply go to Help and Appraise It and select Check for Updates and follow the prompts if you have any update available to install. One thing you will need to do, however, is set up a new Appraise It account. This is a new web services account that is different from your customer ID and password. Eventually, this new user ID, which is your email address, and password will be used more widely, but for now, it's just used for inspect a lot. After you've spoken to our sales office at 800-523-0872 and have purchased the inspect a lot integration, you'll be sent an email with a link to complete the setup of your appraise it account and set an account password. Just click on the link in the email and use the temporary username and password to log in for the first time. Next, fill out the challenge phrase, the response, the current temporary password and your new password and then verify it by entering it a second time. The challenge question and answer will be used if you ever forget your password and need to reset it, so make sure it's something you can remember. Once done, you will use this username, your email address, and the password that you set up to log into the Inspect a Lot app on the iPad. There are two ways that you can begin an appraisal report when using Inspect a Lot. You can either begin an appraisal and appraise it by entering the basic info that you already know, like the address and other basic information, or you can begin the report in the field and inspect a lot and transfer it to the report later. To begin a report and appraise it, start a new file as you normally would and enter any information that you already have about the property. Then go to the services menu and select inspect a lot connect. You'll be prompted to log in. Enter the username and password you set up earlier, check the checkbox to save the password if this is not a shared computer, and then click Next. On the next screen, select the radio button for Export and click Next. When done, click Exit. To start a new report from the Inspect a Lot app, tap the New Inspection Plus icon and begin filling out the information. All of this information will be placed into a blank or existing report when you sync back to appraise it later. Before getting started using Inspect a lot on your iPad, we first need to make a change in the settings. Go to the Settings app on your iPad and scroll down until you find Inspect a lot. The app list is in alphabetical order. Tap it, then activate the Settings slider for Select Photos from Gallery. Once you've done this, press the Home button. Now launch the Inspect a Lot app on your iPad. If you need to, log in with your Appraise It account username and password that you set up earlier. Once logged in, you'll be presented with the current inspections loaded on the iPad. At this point, make sure you have an active internet connection and tap the Sync button up top. This will check the Inspect a Lot servers to make sure you have loaded all of the latest data from your desktop. From the list, tap the report you wish to work on. The edit screen is pretty simply laid out. Up top you'll find a row of tab buttons for the different parts of the report that you can edit. On the left you have a row of icons for the different sections of the report part that you're currently looking at. Scroll up and down to see the full list. In the center are the different fields that you can edit and add information to. Finally, on the right are the different common responses that are available to you when you are in a field that supports them. Note that these common responses are different from the ones you have set up in Appraise It. They are unique to inspect a lot. The first part of the report that you'll be presented with is the subject. Begin adding information into each field from top to bottom. When you're done with a section, select the next section from the list of icons on the left. You can enter as much or as little information as you wish. 
How much you use Inspect a Lot to fill out the form in the field is completely up to you. When you're done with a given part, you can select the next one from the tab list above. Each part is pretty much like the subject part except for sketching, so let's take a look at that now. Tap the Sketch Tab button up top. There are two main ways to sketch. You can either use your finger to draw or you can use the buttons to the right to sketch similarly to the way you would do it in SketchIt. To sketch with your finger, double tap the screen in the upper left hand of the sketch area. This will relocate the sketch in Crosshair. Tap and hold the crosshair again and drag your finger in the direction that you wish to draw your first line. Notice that the decimal measurement in feet will be shown as you drag your finger. I'm going to draw a 60 foot line. To lock the line in, I simply double tap the end point. Now I'm ready to draw my second line. This one will be the east wall, 30 feet. So just as before, I tap and drag the line down until I reach 30 feet and double tap to lock it in. I'll continue this procedure until I'm done with the outline of the house. And if I make a mistake, I'll just tap on the line to select it and click on the clear button to the right. Now to draw with the buttons, double tap in the sketch area where you wish to begin your sketch. And once again, I recommend using the upper left hand corner of the house. Next, type out the number of feet that your north wall will be using the buttons to the right. Then tap the direction arrow, then apply to lock it in. Now to do an angle, use the rise and run method by typing out how far out the angle goes, then use the direction key, then the distance it runs, followed by the direction key again. Repeat these steps until the outline of the house is complete. Personally, I find it more accurate to use the keys and it's a lot easier, but the method that you use is completely up to you. When you've closed the area or floor that you'll be drawing, select whether it adds to the house GLA and then select the name from the list to the right. If you need to move the sketch as a whole in the sketch area, use two fingers on the screen to drag it to the new location. To move an individual area, use a single finger to drag it. When you're ready to move on to the comps part of the report, tap that tab button up top. Filling out the comps and summary parts are pretty much like filling out the subject part. Remember, you can fill out as many or as few of these fields as you wish. Whatever you don't fill out will simply not be transferred to the report and you'll have to fill those fields out and appraise it later. Once you're done adding information to the report and inspect a lot, go to the summary tab button and move the slider for inspection complete to the left. Your report will not be available for transfer back to appraise it unless you've done this. Now tap the back button up top to return to the inspection list and then tap sync to upload your changes to the cloud. Back on your PC and appraise it, go to the services menu and select inspect a lot connect. You'll be prompted to log in, enter the username and password you set up earlier, and then click next. This time we want to import an inspection, so make that selection and then click next. A list of inspections stored in the cloud will show up. Remember, only inspections marked as complete in inspect a lot will show up here. Click on the inspection you wish to import and then click next. In the report data section, you'll find a list of three checkboxes. Usually you'll want to import everything that you did in the inspect a lot app and by default, all of these checkboxes will be checked if they're applicable. However, if you only updated the sketch or some of the pictures, you won't want to overwrite any data you updated and appraise it. So you can use these checkboxes to control which data is transferred and which is not. Below the report data options section is a section for work file options. These are for more advanced users to be able to have granular control over what information is archived. Most users will not need to modify any of these, but if you wish to know more about these options, consult the Knowledge Base article on using the Inspect a Lot app on our website or contact our technical support. When done, click Next. A warning will come up to let you know that if you are importing into an existing report, any information filled out in Inspect a Lot will overwrite data in the appraiser report if it already exists. Since we're importing this data into an empty report, that doesn't really concern us, so I'm just going to click Yes. The inspection will now be downloaded from inspect -A -Lot's cloud servers. This will include the sketch and any photos you added while in the app, and all of them will be shown in the organized photo screen. As long as you have not changed any of the default photo labels, you should not have to do anything here. 
If you have changed those labels, you'll need to drag and drop the photos to their proper location in the report to the right. The different photo pages available for transfer can be found using this drop-down menu. Once you've organized your photos, click the transfer button. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call seven days a week at 800-644-4051. Also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter by searching for SFREP and join the SFREP and WCA Appraiser Exchange on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.